I'm going to show you how a simple lead questionnaire makes it possible for you to create and keep track of as many properties per lead as you like. It also allows you to ask all the right questions so you can make a zero down offer on a property. Just knowing what those questions are make this video worth listening to. I'll also show you how this system will make it possible for you to hire and train telemarketers to call sellers for you and put together deals. The system even has a way to notify you when a new deal comes in. And the system comes with built-in phone scripts that both you and your telemarketers can use to close more deals. Let's take a look at it. Hey, I'm Joe Crump. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell if you'd like to get notified every time I post a new video in this real estate investor automation series. I've logged into the Automarketer. I've gone to uh, Lead Management, and this is the dashboard, Lead Dashboard. And you can see there's a bunch of different leads here. Uh, and I want to go to the Seller Questionnaire. And the way that I do that is go to this little house icon, and I uh, pull down this doodad. I look for the property address. And if this is a Zillow lead uh, or a lead that you've imported with an address, then there will be an address here. If there's not, uh, then you can add a property uh, going, just clicking on this button, and it'll allow you to add a new property. But I'm using a Zillow lead here, so I'm going to go to this particular uh, property, and each lead can have as many properties as you want. We find that uh, a lot of investors that we work with have multiple properties, and we want to be able to get information on each one of those properties and keep those properties separate. Uh, so let me show you what the lead questionnaire will allow you to do. And this is either you making the calls uh, and getting this information or hiring a telemarketer uh, to do that work for you. At the beginning, I suggest that you do the work yourself so you learn how to do it so that it makes it easier for you to teach someone to do it. If you just try to hire somebody right off the bat and have them do this, uh, it's going to be a lot more challenging for them uh, if they don't know what works and how to make it work. But it's not rocket science uh, being able to ask questions. The, the, the challenging part of putting a deal together is learning how to talk to a seller in a way that uh, uh, teaches them and walks them through all their options and helps them make a decision in closing the deal. Uh, that's different than just asking the questions. So if you're going to hire somebody to do the questions for you, uh, have, have them just read through the script, ask the questions, and then if it looks like a lead that you need to talk to, uh, then you can call them and you can spend time only on people that are really focused. Now, I would, uh, again, I want to warn you not to do that at the beginning if you haven't put together deals before. Uh, learning how to put these deals together is the most important thing you can do, and the most important way to learn that, or the best and most valuable way to learn that, is by actually making those calls. You're probably going to need to talk to 100 people before you actually learn how to do it. And uh, so don't uh, don't skimp on that part of it. It's like riding a bike. You're going to fall down and sk skim your knee a few times, but uh, once you get good at it, after you've made 100 calls or so, you're going to start sounding competent. And when you start sounding competent, that's when people start to trust you and will start working with you. Uh, but here are some things to help you get started and to make it a little bit easier talking to these people as you're going through the process. Uh, at, at the top here, you've got all the same information that's in the lead dashboard. You can put the name of the person here, whether it's a seller or a buyer. Uh, you can click on this button and it'll open up the a phone and start ringing their phone number. You can schedule a call with these people uh, for a future call if you're going to do a call back to them. <clears throat> you can uh, find out uh, what number they called in on. Uh, you can also find out what number you called them on. Uh, so whatever your whatever phone number you used from your phone system, and you can uh, assign them a particular uh, number. Or uh, this is going to tell you, though, uh, this particular message, uh, they responded to a, a call from this particular line. Uh, this is the message that they gave us, usually a transcription of, of a voicemail or a uh, text message. Here's the tag that you gave them when you created them in the Automarketer uh, so that you can keep track of these leads easily. Uh, this is the, uh, the campaign that they're in, the drip campaign that they're in. Uh, and you can change this drip campaign or remove the one that you've got. You can add new campaigns by adding, going to follow-up campaigns. Uh, this is the uh, property information. Uh, so if I wanted to 
click on this button, it'll pull up all the information that we scraped from the ad that they ran. Uh, and this ad happened to be in Zillow. And if I click on this, it'll take me to their ad in Zillow. Uh, so I can see, you know, some pictures of the house if I choose to. Um, and uh, I can also you know, go directly to the link here uh, as well. And you can see this particular lead has two different properties. They've run um, uh, ads at two different times for two different properties under the same phone number. So we know it's the same person who's been trying to sell a couple of different houses. I can also add notes here uh, and get keep information and it time stamps it for me and puts a time and date on it. Uh, I can also um, blacklist this lead if I'd never want them to get another message or email from me again. I can just hit add blacklist and it'll put them on a blacklist and the system will never send them another call uh, again or another text again. It'll also turn this uh, little doodad red. Uh, I can also delete this lead, which I rarely do. I'd rather archive that lead than delete it. I can send them an email if we have an email address for them. I can send them a text message that'll go directly to this number or I can make a call. I can click on this and again, this will open up and start dialing their number and you can talk directly into your uh, microphone on your laptop. This tells you the dates that it was created, the date that it was updated, which means the most recent uh, response we've gotten from them. And this is, it's assigned to this team member. So I want to, if I want to change uh, who it's assigned to, I can do that at the bottom of the page. But this is a, a basic overview of everything that's in this questionnaire below. Uh, and this information is just a script that you can use uh, or you can create your own script for it. Uh, but this is the script that we've used. We're actually working on a system that allows us to change the script uh, to make it easier for you to add any script that you want into these systems. If I go down below here, I can see the property address. One of the things that we can do is we can take the property address, we can type it in, uh, and if I just put in Brookdale Drive and the zip code, it'll find this information. But I can click Verify Property Address and it'll look for that property address in the U.S. Postal System and make sure that it's a real address and that it really exists. Uh, and once we do that, we see a little map here and I can get more information about this. I can make that full screen if I want to. I can look at it as a satellite map. Uh, so this is Google Maps. It's really nice. Or I can click up on Google here and it'll open up a separate window with more information about the property. So I can actually see uh, the property here and I can see where it's at on the map or I can click on this and I can open up the entire um, property and I can look at the street. I can walk down the street if I want to look and see what's available down there. I can look on the other side of the street. I can go find out who this kid is. <laughs> uh, so it gives you a lot of uh, uh, a lot of options here. Google Maps is wonderful. You can also click on this button uh, and it'll open up automatically uh, Zillow and it'll show you the property on Zillow. Now, if the Zillow, if it's been listed for sale by owner on here, uh, it would show up in Zillow as uh, the different pictures of inside the house. So it gives you some pictures of the house and uh, lets you see the ad that they've been running. Uh, it'll also give you a, a, a estimate or the value or guest value. Uh, it'll show you bedrooms and baths. Uh, and there's a ton of other information in here about the property and about its history and about the time on the market. And uh, if you're not using Zillow, absolutely go check it out and it'll give you more details about tax history and all these other things. You can also get uh, information about their uh, other properties, other comps. Uh, that are you can look at other properties that are in the neighborhood and what they're selling for as well. So this is all good information that you can get and you can use while you're talking to that seller. So if you're talking to that seller and you've got this in front of you, uh, you can say, hey, I, I can see that across the street you've got this and down the street you've got this and I, I, I know this about your neighborhood, uh, even if you've never been there. And the reason I built this is because we do a lot of business remotely. Uh, I don't want to leave my house. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel every time I leave, leave my house, I lose three hours. Uh, so I just want to do everything that I can there before I have to go out or before I send out boots on the ground to put signs in the yard. I I want to know that deal is there before I, I uh, uh, go out to the property. 
And the other thing it pulls up is a rent-o-meter, uh, and this will help you figure out what the monthly rent for that property should be. If they you put the address in and the rent in uh, and analyze the address, it'll tell you whether or not you're too high or too low on your rent and what the, the comps are for the area uh, in rent-o-meter. So it's a nice uh, tool that you can use. After you've done that, you can start asking them questions. Uh, why are you selling? Are you moving out of the area and where are you going? And you can type in your answers here and keep track of all this. Do you have to sell or would you consider keeping it? Or again, you can have your telemarketer do this work for you. Do you have to move? Uh, how soon do you have to move? How much do you want for it? How much will it sell for? How much do you think it's worth? Uh, how did you come up with that price? How long have you owned it? Uh, this is all information that is absolutely necessary for you to have in order for you to make a zero down structure uh, offer or to make a wholesale offer on that property. Is it vacant? Does it need repairs? You know, yes or no. Uh, and list the repairs and their approximate cost. Uh, and as you go through this, just click on save your progress and it'll help, uh, help you keep track of all this. Uh, does it have a mortgage? Yes or no? If so, what's the balance? What's the payment amount? What's the years left to pay off? Are you going to take over this property subject to? If you are, you got to know uh, about the mortgages. Is it on time? Is the payment on time? You need to have all that information uh, when you make an offer like that. Um, below this is information about the property. So you can type in more information about the price and uh, how much rent we're going to advertise it for, how much down payment we're going to put it down for, um, you know, is it negotiable, yes or no. Uh, we're going to put a headline in here and we can, typically we would put rent to buy, uh, you know, and then the, the property address. Uh, I can also put in information, and the reason that this section is here is for your clone site. In your clone sites, you can go in here and you can look at your listing site. Your listing site has uh, all the properties that you own on it uh, that's out there for your, the, the public to see. Uh, so you can put your properties as you have them for sale up on the listing site and makes it uh, easy for people to, for you to direct people to so they can get all the details about the property. Uh, you can even put videos into this section here and there's tutorials that show you how to do that. It's pretty simple to do uh, by uploading it to YouTube and then embedding it here. Uh, and then you can put the rest of the information about the property here so it goes into that clone site. Uh, and it saves all that information for you and you don't have to fill it out more than once. You don't have to set it up in the clone site and here. Uh, you can do it here and it puts it every place you need it to be. Uh, and then as you save that information, hit save progress and then uh, you can have your telemarketer ask these additional questions as well. Uh, if you're doing that, find it out if they want to do a, a lease option with it, if they want to do maybe a subject to with it. Uh, you can also upload images of this property. And then down below here, it's got this wonderful little thing that uh, I can email a, a PDF file of this form already filled out to anybody on my uh, list. Or I can type in an email or anybody on my, um, uh, on my team management list. Uh, or I can email it to any email address that I choose to or I can text it to any of the phone numbers that I have in my phone system. So if I've got particular team members using particular phone numbers, I can uh, have it texted to them. Or if I'm using one and I have my telemarketer text it to me, it'll send me a PDF file of the contact information and all the details about that property uh, that I can look at and I can see, hey, this makes sense. I need to call these people and close the deal. Or I can, set, I can text it to a single number as well. And once I hit save and email, it'll do that. So this is the seller questionnaire. This will make it possible for you to get good at talking on the phone, uh, for doing those interviews, uh, making it very simple for you to go through and type this information in while you're talking to them uh, and have uh, information at your fingertips uh, so that you can uh, speak intelligently about their property on the fly, you know, while it's happening. Uh, the, the, the main thing that you have to remember when you're talking to sellers is you want to try to close the deal immediately if you can. You may not get them on the phone tomorrow or the next day or next week. So if you've got them on the phone and you're talking to them and you've got the information, if you can think on your feet and you understand the different structures that I teach and you understand how to talk to them, uh, you can close the deal right then and there and um, you know move on to start making some money.
When you have someone who's making calls for you like this, it can be really valuable for them to say nice things about you. It's a, a, akin to a third party endorsement. And so when you get on the phone with that lead, after you've already been pre-qualified by your own employee, uh, they trust you more. Uh, it's a very effective technique. Don't forget to subscribe, click that button, watch the next video in the series, and go to joecrump.com and uh, sign up for my mailing list. I, I give out free information to the folks that are on my email list. All right, hope that helps.